Hey everybody, welcome into the Wager Talk TV YouTube channel. I'm Tony Mejia from SportsMemo.com. We're going to be talking about Sunday morning's huge matchup in women's basketball at the Olympics as Germany will challenge the United States in a battle of Group C unbeatens, all to play for, as they say, at the Olympics as the preliminary round concludes for everybody. And currently we have uh, seen Australia suffer an upset loss to Nigeria that has them in a precarious position as they look to uh, make their move tomorrow against France, which is unbeaten. Uh, and uh, so three teams in Group B that have a lot going on in addition to a Canadian team that's been a disappointment in losing its first two games. And Serbia and Spain will square off to see who wins Group A as both are undefeated. Megan Gustafson's done a great job in leading Spain. The Las Vegas Aces reserve forward has really shown out in these Olympics. And as far as the United States goes, they are heavily favored to defeat Germany, but we're going to pump the brakes on laying a, a big amount of points like we did against Belgium in our last free pick video, uh, which did not go well as the U.S. struggled with uh, Belgium. They won 87 to 74 despite losing the turnover battle. But that sloppy play and all those missed bunnies ended up costing us in our quest to cover the number against the Belgian squad. And we saw Emma Miesman play really well. And uh, and Van Lu, who now says his, her name is Van Lo. So we'll call her that going forward when she returns uh, domestically to play for the Washington Mystics. Uh, really had a nice game as well. Uh, just, a, a Belgian team that really showed up for 40 minutes, made the U.S. compete. And now we'll see how, uh, how that affects the United States going forward. I see the nonsense with Caitlin Clark fans saying that she should be on the team and the U.S. would be winning by 50 to 60 points if she were on the team and you guys are ridiculous. So as far as the U.S. guard situation is concerned, however, uh, we have seen Chelsea Gray really struggle. She got basically benched uh, after uh, her first appearance in against Japan. She scored uh, no points but had 13 assists. Uh, against the Belgian squad, uh, she only played nine minutes and uh, really was a non-factor. Diana Taurasi also made her second consecutive start, but uh, did not play much as uh, what's going on now is Cheryl Ree was looking to see what guards are going to fare best going forward and give the United States uh, an opportunity to win uh, yet another gold medal. And we've seen uh, Jewel Lloyd step up some. We've definitely seen Sabrina Ionescu play her best. Uh, you know, Kelsey Plum had a poor performance against Belgium, really couldn't get a rhythm either. Jackie Young could be an option. Uh, and so while uh, player props are not available for this one as of the time I'm taping this, I'm expecting Ionescu and uh, Jewel Lloyd to really step up in this game against Germany. Uh, so be on the lookout for them in points, rebounds, and assists. And obviously the, the two names that have shown up for the United States in big ways uh, have been Brianna Stewart and Asia Wilson. Uh, currently, they've combined for 47 and a half points and 20 and a half rebounds. Stewart by, a, I believe, a, a half point is the leading scorer. Wilson has 26 rebounds for this tournament, averaging 13 a game, has grabbed 13 in each of the victories. And the United States has imposed their will on the boards. That's been uh, the calling card for them that have, you know, has overcome not shooting the ball well. Uh, they've been out rebounding their opponents through two games, 104 to 55. That's uh, extremely impressive. And they'll need to continue to do that against a, a German squad that's going to test them from a depth standpoint uh, on the boards. Uh, the U.S. is nine for 34 from three point range. They've got to step that up. Uh, but this is a known commodity for the U.S. And you, you have to kind of put yourself in the in the position of what the United States women's basketball team uh, faced in terms of making this jump from the middle of the WNBA season to the Olympics with relatively little preparation time. Uh, they, they had training camp and whatnot before the season started, but then everybody went in to their respective teams and, and played uh, more than half a season. And then the WNBA All-Star Game was uh, the first competitive setting that they had really played. Team WNBA defeated them. Big games from Arike Agumbawale and Clark. 
in addition to other players that really stepped up. So, um, you know, we saw a, a very strong performance from Team WNBA. Uh, Angel Reese was really good. She had another double-double. Uh, and that, that was an iron sharpens iron situation. And then the United States went to London and played this German squad and beat them handily. And that was somewhat surprising. But if you look at it, uh, Germany was in a situation where they were um, really facing an uphill battle because uh, uh, one of the, the players that has really been the deciding factor for Germany being very good in this tournament is uh, their one of their two Sabali sisters, Setu Sabali, plays for the Dallas Wings but has not played all season for them she's having a, a she had a, a shoulder procedure in the off season has opted not to play she'll be back in the mix for dallas which is out of out of the playoff picture in the wmba this season so we'll see how much she plays but she just had the uh the eighth highest scoring output in olympic history the other day against japan uh scoring 33 points on 11 for 17 shooting and they've also got niara sabali her sister plays for the new york liberty uh in addition to uh other uh big players like uh luisa geisel soder who's six foot four and a 20 year old frida buner um, who we'll probably see on the WNBA scene. They were really excited about her in Germany. Uh, then you've got one of the wings. She's playing the shooting guard here, but for, for the Liberty, she, she plays on the wing and, and uh, plays a number of roles in Leonie Fiebisch, who I believe is the X factor in this contest to see how close it exactly gets. Because if Fiebisch has a good game and sets up teammates and shoots the ball from the, beyond the arc, the United States is going to have their hands full and be in, in a grinder uh, entering the uh, late stages of this game. Maybe that's what they need. They need a test because the women's basketball competition, even though the United States has run the show for going on 30 years, uh, is is more competitive than it has ever been. And we're, we're seeing that in a number of ways, including Canada, which has the second uh, highest number of WNBA players currently residing at ON2. So, uh, yeah, this German squad Really good. Beyond Phoebish, we've got um, Alexis Peterson, who had a great career at Syracuse. She's their point guard. Current UACLA guard, Lena Sontag, is on the squad. Uh, so this is a team that's going to challenge the United States. And from that standpoint, I do not like laying 19 and a half points. In fact, I'll take them. I'll take them with Germany. I think uh, if Belgium can be within seven points uh, with six minutes to go against the U.S., uh, I think that uh, Germany has an opportunity to be in that same boat, even though they were dismantled, I believe held to 57 points and under 30% shooting uh, in that first matchup. You, you, the U.S. won 84 to 57. Brianna Stewart had 15 points and six rebounds, and uh, Asia Wilson had 19 points and 14 rebounds. Jewel Lloyd led all reserves with 11 points in that game that was in London uh, less than 10 days ago. So I think Germany is going to be like, all right, we've seen this show before, uh, have nothing to lose because they're already in the quarterfinal round. Let's see what we can do. And they're going to test the United States with their best punch. So we will take Germany plus the 19 and a half points. No opinion on the total, which is at 160. And uh, I don't think Germany wins. But if you want to take uh, the uh, the uh, money line, I believe that's plus 1400. So 14 times your investment if you want to back the Germans to uh, deal the United States a huge wake up call by dealing them an upset loss. Uh, and again, for uh, our player prop purposes, I'm sure they'll be out by the time you see this video. But as of Friday, early afternoon, they had not been posted, at least none that I saw. Asia Wilson obviously rebounding the heck out of the ball, but uh, her uh, rebound price will probably be easily in double digits considering she, she has had 13 in each of the first two Olympic Games and 15 against Germany in the exhibition. So I would expect it would be no lower than 11 and a half. Uh, and I don't really don't want to lay that. Uh, Brianna Stewart, if you want to go points, rebounds, and assists from a known commodity, somebody that's playing well, uh, she obviously knows uh, Nara Savali from playing with the Liberty. Uh, and that'll be one of the people that she'll be matched up against in, in addition to Setu. So uh, I would I would say Stewie is is a solid option considering she's a passer, rebounds well, and is uh, really shooting the ball confidently. Her mid range game is off the hook at this point. And then I, I I do think UNESCO, also a Liberty member, and Jewel Lloyd will will figure it out. We'll see if Kelsey Plum also uh, gets it going from beyond the arc. She was pretty solid against Japan, but uh, non existent against Belgium. That's where we're at for uh, this final 
uh, Group C matchup between Germany and the United States, and then <clears throat> the uh, winner go home stage of the Olympic Women's Basketball Tournament gets going midweek from Paris, uh, and uh, we'll have videos on multiple games there. So be on the lookout for that. Make sure you're subscribed to Wager Talk TV so you never miss a free pick video, no matter what the sport. We've got you covered. Make sure you are liking all these videos so uh, we know we're appreciated and continue, yeah, continue to offer you these free of charge. Also, uh, follow me on Twitter at Mejia De Niro and uh, check out my page at sm.buzz slash TDM for all our package information. We've got great deals going on uh, and free plays that I post there on the daily. So that's where we will ride here with Germany, expecting a United States win, but a German cover plus 19 and a half. Have a wonderful weekend, everybody, and thanks for watching.